This is another different sequoia, a redwood. A lifetime of knowledge collected and still growing here in Peter Wham's backyard in Qualicum Beach. Bamboo that he easily keeps under control. Splashes of color offset against a skyline of green. Moroccan broom that smells like pineapple. And a rare winter blooming jasmine, to name only a few. Cryptomeria cristata. And in 2004, one of the judges from Hull, Quebec, was sitting here for about 10 minutes studying this one. It's safe to say that Peter has been in horticulture all his life, as a profession and a hobby. But these days, his passion lies with the bonsai. Tell me about this one. This copper beech, <coughs> normally put in the ground, will go 200 feet. But in a container, it stays exactly like that size, simply because it's a root bound, and of course it's been pruned. But it's not really that simple. Bonsai is a Japanese word meaning tree in a pot. They can live for hundreds of years, require almost as much maintenance as a pet, and are not limited to one species of plant. Bonsai is a way of handling and shaping. Many of these are hybrids and Peter talks about the art of bonsai being a combination of growing and making. The key is small leaves. And you say, hey, this leaf is too big. We simply take off the leaf part and leave the stem, the same here, and then at the same year, a smaller leaf will grow. And this system you can use as all different kinds of, of special Japanese maples and, and other shrubs. Peter says the art of bonsai is similar to painting and sculpting. It's an expression and an atmosphere. Like other forms of art, it's subjective. And like artists tend to do, he gets attached to his creations. Sometimes you get an empty disc back, which is kind of sad, you know. But uh, in most cases, people are really dedicated and say, yeah, I wanted to start this. I'm in my early 70s and uh, yes, and I can look after it. I have time for it and uh, I enjoy it. Will some of these trees outlive you? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to try my best not to. But <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, they definitely will. Peter is getting ready to sell this one, cutting back the moss that serves as protection in the winter months. It's only a couple of years old. His oldest, a dwarf rhododendron, is more than 35 years old. He cares deeply for his bonsai and his garden and says even after all these years, he's still learning new things all the time. This is a church, this is a hobby. This is entertainment <laughs> and it's exercise as well. So the whole thing combined. Peter's bonsai are considered starters and it's easy to see in them along with the rest of the abundance here that know. Peter is an artist in the true sense of the word. In Qualicum Beach, I'm Kate Bergen.